hello look at what I got the mechanical pencil and look 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 it's got a long eraser that screws out really really long I'm so happy because I got this because all this time I have been drawing on an ordinary like I don't even know what you call them 3b 5b ab ordinary school kids drawing pencil which is good but when you are in the mood you have to stop and sharpen it all the time and I'm so glad because this it's got a point and you don't have to sharpen it you can just go like boop on the leather that comes out long which means that drawings like this this is done with a pen don't judge the sketch drawing it's not a pencil but it's a pen drawings like this can come out like that still a sketch drawing but slightly better and look at that detail don't you just love it today I will be going over this picture on digital app to see if we can make it any better than what it already is but I thought I'd show you because I'm feeling good and I wanted to show you how it is before I improve it because I did not have a camera that I could film it with and don't judge the hair I am being a beautiful flower today come on hold up admit that you love this admit that you think I'm a beautiful flower don't I just blend right in and then Satan's claws decreed for the good little boys and girls the uncontaminated ones we shall poison them with greed and gluttony overwhelming them with what is shiny and plastic mind washing them into a consumer based mentality and the bad children the little boys and girls who are a bit too smart for their own good we shall give them coal coal them to burn the world down with. And from that day onwards, the world was never the same again. Ah, oh, hello there. I was just telling the Christmas story of Satan's claws. Oh wait, Santa claws. And the reasons how things came to be. It can be easy to mistake the two, given how similar they are. I've had a few people from my ordinary day-to-day -day life discovering my channel. And while I'm very grateful that my videos are getting appreciated, everyone who watches them seems to be going, Oh, you're so funny. I love how hilarious they are. Which is great, because when you're funny, it seems that people want to know and listen to you more. But it's also great, because now I've got to try and figure out how to actually be funny, rather than just vent about what's going on in my head at the time. And before you come at me going, Well, why don't you just continue doing that? Well, it's in my head now, and everything that comes out is going to be awkward and obviously forced. Which is why I thought I'd start us off with the story of Satan's Claws, to draw a light to the very concerning elephant in the room. Climate change! It's just the tip of a sinking ship, a ship we're all very securely stuck on. And the latest horror to be affecting that, of course, the purposeful and the very deliberate burning down of the Amazon rainforest. You know, because apparently breathing into the addiction of that latest new thing is more important than the very air we breathe. So I've been purposely trying not to go all out and trying to find out every last little detail for the sake of my mental health. But from receiving the data that has been determined to storm out and slap me in the face, I'm aware that these latest fires to date are of the most horrific we have ever seen. That apparently the guy supposedly in charge of it all reckon they weren't going to accept any financial aid over the burnings because they were, you know, purposeful and deliberately done. And now that the rainforests have been burning down, apparently scientists reckon that the time they were buying us is now no longer a thing, which means that we are very desperately in need of change. Which is, of course, very concerning and dramaful because it seems like the people who care most are exactly the people who have the least amount of money whatsoever. Other than Leonardo DiCaprio that is, it seems like he's one of the very, very few who actually has any money and cares enough to do anything at all. So now that we're all up to date with the doom and gloom of it all, I'm afraid I'm going to have to start considering my world domination plans a bit earlier than convenient. It's not at all the ideal folks, but these are desperate times which call for some very desperate measures. If you're one of my loyal and dedicated followers who watch and appreciate these videos, now's the time to open your minds. I'm attempting to start the indoctrination process. Plants are fashionable. The people in charge are not. Your popularity levels will go up sharply if you come and help overthrow the government with me. Let's all plant trees, everybody. Lolna. In all serious though, we can, if we can actually start doing that, 
That could in all honesty be such a lifesaver. And I'm not even exaggerating that much either. Plants are what is literally keeping us alive. We depend on them for our food, the air we breathe, and when there are lots of trees in one place, it has an effect on what weather displays in that area as well, meaning that we can even depend on them for our water too. And I understand that everyone here who gives the Wetzel's bamboozle are all broken powerless. So I reckon if you want to help make any real difference, let's all scream really loud at everyone who doesn't have that Wetzel's bamboozle in hopes that they might get one. Let's sign all the petitions. Follow Leonardo DiCaprio on Instagram so we can help with all the resources he's providing. Let's name, shame and drive to the grave everyone who's not being proactive enough to get this party started. People don't like being made the bad guy. And the only reason why anyone here is in any power at all is that we are giving them the privilege to do and be so. Why are we letting people get away with murder like this? Why are we just sitting around while entire species go extinct and our world is burning to the death underneath us? Is this the future we want? Are we happy with how things are turning out? With the way things are going, we have less than 10 years of chances. Look it up, I'm not lying. If people start being proactive now, we might get almost 20. We really need to be pulling out all the stops we have to get this planet back to healthy again, because we won't be around much longer if we just keep sitting on our butts like this. And in the meantime, while we're all screaming really loud and trying to drag our planet out from its grave, let's all go out and start looking at things like guerrilla gardening and sustainable ways of living. We might not be able to unburn the rainforests that have been taken from us, but maybe if we all went out and started buying houseplants together, we could take home a tiny piece to help replace what was lost. Take the bus instead of driving. The stress of trying to find car parking was never worth it in the first place. Did you really need to buy that bottled water? Put pressure on your workplace to start decorating the place out with plants and trees. Gift and trade cuttings with people. If you feel like you can't keep a houseplant alive, rehabilitate yourself or consider volunteering your free time to help replant forests. There is not a single cop-out or excuse that is worth it. If you're not actively going out there and doing something, at this point you might as well be complicit in this planet's murder. I'm sorry if this isn't nice, but I don't know how to be nice about this and still hammer home the, the level of urgency. You might not be the one hammering home the nails in our coffins, but what are you doing if you're not out there trying to save a place? We're not rich enough to afford space travel to other planets. This is the only one we've got. Please share this video or another one that highlights these main points if you feel like this one is too cringy. Raising awareness is honestly the bare minimum we can be doing. If you feel like there's anything I've missed or anything else you think I should consider covering, please tell me, but I think that's all for now. If we all live long enough, maybe I might see you later. Ciao.